Bash, who found neighbors coming together in all the chaos. Yeah, Chris, neighbors here shocked and saddened to see their friends and family's homes go up in flames, doing everything they can all day long to help out. From the second floor of their home, Rhonda Gerges' son recorded these flames destroying the house across the street before spreading to two others. I've been in this neighborhood for almost 20 years. I've never seen nothing like this in my life. Moments after hearing the explosion at the middle home on West 33rd, neighbors like Christina Sanders in just a bathrobe and slippers jumped into action. I ran across to bang on the next door neighbors and get some big burning embers off of their porch. While Sanders ran toward the flames, her fiance ran after the two men he saw sprinting away from the suspected arson. As soon as I started yelling fire, they started running from me. So I started chasing them. He didn't catch them, but friends and neighbors stayed in frigid temperatures all day long to help in whatever way they could. Boom! When I look through the window, oh my God. Making her morning coffee, Carmen Caraballo told me she heard the blast and watched flames spread to her home. Luckily, her entire family, plus their chihuahua Lolita and several pet birds, made it out safely. I never see something like that blow like that so fast. When I hear the boom, I never hear something like that. The Red Cross is helping those displaced families with a place to stay. Now, neighbors have been keeping their pets. You saw birds, dogs, cats in their homes and garages. They tell me they're trying to figure out more ways to help these affected families. Live in Cleveland, I'm Homa Bash, News Channel 5. And right now, investigators are searching for two men witnesses saw running from the area with a canvas bag. If you have any information, you're asked to call Cleveland Police.